Hey guys, welcome back to my podcast, NFL Weekly, Week 6, and I'll be talking about my predictions, why I believe them, and why. So, let's talk about last week's score, and it was, um, it was, it was a bad day just for the kickers, as they, they missed combined to like 11 extra points and a lot of missed field goals. So... Let's talk about the Thursday night game, the Rams versus the Seahawks. Only the Rams won, which I said the Rams won, 28-21, to but they won 26-17. to Russell Wilson might be out till week 10, so. Let's talk about the London game, Jets versus Falcons. I said the Jets will win, but the Falcons won 20-27-20. to Pat- Patriots versus Texans, I said the Patriots would win 28-7, but they won 25-22. Lions versus Vikings. I said the Vikings won 28 to 14, but they won 19 to 17. Lions are really good 0 and 5 team. They're, I mean, they lost by game winning field goal. Almost came. They came back. Literally came back. Eagles versus Panthers. I said the Panthers would win 31 to 17, but the Eagles won 21 to 18. I guess Sam Darnold. I guess the Panthers are just an overreacted team, and Sam Darnold threw three INTs, so. Saints versus the Washington football team. I said the Saints would, I said the Washington football team would win 28 to 27, but they lost 33 to 22. Titans versus Jags. I said the Titans would win 28 to 24. They won 37 to 19. I guess the Jaguars are just not as hot as they said they were last week. Dolphins versus Bucks. I said the Bucks would win 42 to 17. They won 45 to 17. So close. Just needed that 45 there. Packers versus Bengals. Not the Bengals have been thirty-one to twenty-eight, and they lost twenty-five to twenty-two. And the thing was, I was at that game, and everyone, Mason Cosby, Mason Cosby missed a lot of field goals and extra points. So did Evan McPherson. They should, we should have won that game. They should have won that game too, but it was just an overtime thriller there. Broncos versus Steelers. I said the Broncos would win twenty-eight to seventeen, but then I realized. Um, the Broncos are just a fake team that played bots and really bad teams for the first three weeks, and then they played good teams. And the Steelers are not good, but they lost to Pittsburgh, so that's just saying something. And that was 28 to 27 to 19. Bears versus Raiders. I said the Raiders would win 30 to 28, and they lost 20 to 9. So that means they're also a fake team too. I mean, they're, they're just a fluke. Who's to Chicago like that, man? Um, Browns versus Chargers at the Chargers win 29, 21 to 19, and this might be the best game ever, but they won 20, 41 to 42, right, such a high scoring game, and might be the best game this whole year, maybe, depends, might be an overreaction, Giants versus Cowboys hit the Cowboys win 35 14, and uh, they won 44 20, and Saquon out, injured uh, once again, and even Daniel Jones is out, so I don't know what's going on with that team, but they're already out of playoff contention, I think. Cardinals versus Four Niners at the Cardinals win 35-28 and they won 17 to 10. Low scoring game, I guess. But Trey Lance put it up there. The Cardinals are a really good 5 and 0 team. Bills versus Chiefs. Um, I I'm like the only one that said the Chiefs would win 35-32. Well, I'm get wrong. The Bills won 30 to 20. What a blowout there. Who would have thought the Chiefs might not make the playoffs? I think they will make the playoffs. I don't know about the Super Bowl anymore. So and now we're talking about the Colts versus Ravens. I said the Ravens would win 21 to 18. They won 35 20, 31 25 at overtime. They came back 22 to like three or something. And the Colts, I mean, Rodrigo Blankenship missed that game winning field goal, which cost them the game. So, which cost the AFC North. Because uh, me as a Bengals fan, we wanted to go up there, you know. Now we're talking about this week, week six. But Thursday night game today, Bucks who are four and one versus the Eagles who are two and three. I have the Bucks winning twenty eight to twenty seven. Just a close game. I think the game winning field goal might bear for Ryan Suckup. Dolphins one and four versus the Jaguars zero and five. I think the Jaguars might get the first win this whole year. And then we're gonna win twenty four seventeen. Two is out for this game. I'm Kobe Brissett's gonna do much thing something special. Miles Gaskin popped off last week. He might do it again. So. Vikings are two and three versus the Panthers are three and two. Panthers are a fake team and the Vikings are an underrated team. I think the Panthers will win twenty seven and twenty four here. Just a close match. I think DJ Moore will pop off and I I think Sam Donald will learn from his mistakes from last week, so 
Chargers who are four and one versus the Ravens who are four and one. And uh, the Chargers are such a good team. I think Austin Nick will pop off, and they're gonna win this today, thirty five to thirty two. Justin Herbert having an MVP season, and man, he's better than Burrow. I mean, I hate to say it. Ravens are a good team, but they're not going to come up here. Rams were 4 1 versus the Giants, who are 1 4. I have the Rams winning 35 7. Um, the Giants will get one touchdown with the Rams, who so destroyed them the whole match. No close comparison here. Daniel Jones might be out. Saquon's definitely out. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that team. <laughs> Devontae Booker ain't going to do anything. Texans are a one and four versus the Colts are a one and four. Are the Colts winning twenty eight to seventeen? I mean, it's safe to say, the Colts are might might make the playoffs, might not. I mean, they're at the edge here, but the Texans are out definitely, and the Colts will blow them out here. Te- Chiefs who are two and three versus the Washington Football Team who are two and three. And I have an upset here. Another Washington Football Team winning twenty eight to twenty seven. I think Taylor Heineke might pull a tr- thriller here, and Dustin Hopkins might kick a field goal, game winning field goal here. And Chiefs might go two and four. I just think they're just underperforming this year. So, Packers who are four and one versus the Bears who are two and three. Yeah, the Packers winning 35 24. I mean, it's kind of a little blowout here. Packers are a good team. <laughs> they should really improve on that kicking, though. Bengals who are three and two versus the Lions who are all in five. This easy win for Cincinnati 38 to 14. Should have won last week, went four and one. But they're going to win here and go four and two. Cardinals who are five and oh versus the Browns who are three and two. I have the Cardinals winning 28 to 27. Browns might win here, might win, but the Cardinals are just really they're just undefeated, and I think they're gonna keep being undefeated for a long time. Cowboys who are four and one versus the Patriots who are two and three. I have the Cowboys winning thirty one to seventeen. Have that five game winning streak, and the Patriots are not as good as the Cowboys at all. And Dak Prescott's proving after his injury how comeback year may definitely come back come back award here so. Raiders are two, three and two versus the Broncos who are three and two. The Broncos, the Raiders are bad, but the Broncos are much worse. So the Raiders twenty one to seventeen. Seahawks are two and three versus Steelers who are two and three. Ooh, might be the Seahawks here, seventeen to sixteen. And on um, the reason why I did that is because the Seahawks do not have Russell Wilson, so I don't know how Geno Smith will play. I mean, he put up two touchdowns, I think. So he did pretty good last week against the Rams. So I'm not sure. Maybe you know, maybe that's just a fluke. Steelers are a very bad team. So Bills who are four and one versus Titans who are three and two for Monday Night Football. I the Bills winning 35 30. Titans they lost the Jets. Never gonna forget that. But the Bills are just so much better here. They're gonna win and go five and one. And that is my podcast for week six. Hope you all enjoy and see you at the next one. Bye.